On Wednesday, Moneyball Sportswear began a new era in Lansing. The business was started by Lansing Everett grad Desmond Ferguson 21 years ago, and this week he officially opened the doors on a brand new Moneyball headquarters in the 517. The headquarters can be found on the intersection of Saginaw Street and Princeton Avenue in Lansing and features Moneyball apparel from shorts to t-shirts to sweatshirts. And our good friend and basketball coach at Lansing Sexton, Dale Beard, stopped by today, as well as Michigan. Michigan State's Tyson Walker and A.J. Hogard, who were there for a meet and greet with fans. The idea of starting up this headquarters began in 2020 for Ferguson, who plans on doing even more for the community he grew up in. Being involved with the game of sport is something uh, that I'm always passionate about and still want to be involved with once I got done playing basketball myself. So, you know, being connected to sports and then being able to service, uh, you know, customers and, and give them a good quality product. We've done hundreds and hundreds of uh, team uniforms, but, you know, right here in the area, to stick out particular Everton Sexton, uh, you know, various sports, uh, Eastern, uh, we do some things over at Hode High School. So the goal is to be able to do uh, sports for all schools and, and all teams in the area. We don't really get a chance to come out here to the Lansing side a lot. Um, so just being out here, seeing him open up a nice store um, and just hearing the stories about how long he's been doing it, uh, it's definitely been a great experience and something fun to be a part of. Well, we've also talked with Walker and Hogart about the recent decisions they've made since the basketball season ended. AJ entered his name into the NBA draft while keeping his college eligibility. He said he's worked out for a few NBA teams and has not made a decision on if he'll return to the Spartans. The deadline to return is May 31st. As for Walker, he announced last month he will be back with the green and white, and here's why. It was just like, you know, just wanting to do more, uh, you know, some personal goals, team goals, uh, you know, just trying, trying to uh, be remembered here. It was kind of more like a little hectic before I made my decision, you know, just walking around, everybody was trying to try to tell me to come back. But now it's calmed down, you know, everybody's excited I'm coming back, I'm excited, so I just can't wait for next year.